and welcome back wait a minute i'm supposed to be over here right ah and welcome back to some more enshrouded right yeah now i haven't been i have not played enshrouded for about about a month now because of my since my cat was in an accident and also because me and my wife have been busy playing valheim but there's been a few teasers going around the big tree and dagger dual wielding and all the good stuff and apparently there's going to be a big update this month by the time that this video releases so in june i think i can't confirm nor deny <laughs> uh, and also reason for making this video is that hopefully by the time that this video comes out the game is still on sale a whopping 20 percent off oh hang on enemies right Oh, flying. Oh, so fast combat. Yes. Oh, I've missed you in Shrouded. Right, the game is on sale. Hopefully right now. I mean, might have to double check, but by the time that this video comes out, I think it is the last day of the sale. If not, it is still worth it buying it at full price. Now, I have not made a review of the game. Is that new? What is this? That's a... Have I seen this? What's this? Anything in here? Hello? Oh! A little guy and whoosh ha -ha. Yes. right i have not made a review of this game even though i've played over 230 hours by now and the main reason for that is that it's well it's still early access obviously i would recommend the game but i haven't i don't feel that i have explored or researched the game enough because if you're familiar with my content i just go in completely blind and i just experience the game for the first time like ev everyone else now Back to why you should buy Enshrouded, even though this is not a review and I am not sponsored. I wish I was, but if you look at my subscribe count and my views, I am probably not worth them putting me out with a fire hose, even if I was on fire. But I still love this game, and I want to recommend it to you. If you haven't bought it already, maybe you could buy it for a friend, because I, hopefully it's still on sale. Now hang on a minute. Okay, I'm like I'm not gonna make a speculation video. I thought about doing that, but again, I'm a little bit late to the party since we are playing while I'm. Now I do believe that this is the area, right? It very much looks like the area from the teaser that he's like standing right here and looking out towards this place, right? Feels like it because that mountain. Now hang on, that's the is that a spider mountain? No, the spider mountain is here. That's the spider mountain, and that mountain is nothing. I think it should be right here. But yeah, enough speculations. Yes, buy the game. If you enjoy games, you're gonna enjoy Enshrouded. It's not your typical survival game. I mean, you're not totally reliant on food and water, even though it helps immensely. But yeah, it's a thorough RPG. You level up, you can level a huge skill three, which goes in many directions. You can be a mage, you can be an archer, you can be a healer, and you can be a melee, you can be a tank, all the good stuff. And yeah, speaking of playing with people, I recommended that if you already have the game, maybe you should buy it for someone else. I am going to start a new series with my wife. Now, I bought the game uh, last time when it was on sale, Mainly because I wanted a camera account and eventually my wife was going to play, but I'm going to start a tutorial series where I teach my wife how to play. Because I do believe that I am good enough right now. I do not consider myself a master of this game, again, since I don't look anything up, because I don't have time. But yes, it is going to be a fun journey, that it is. Oh, this game is so pretty. Look at this the shroud, it looks like a waterfall, but it's just death. I mean, before you could fly infinitely, hopefully they add something to that effect. Maybe a little bit of uh, gravity action where you can go down and then up and then a little bit more up and maybe do some loop-de-loops, but uh, again, we'll see. Right, I know that I haven't made any points to why you should buy this game, but again, you, you can just... Hang on, what's that? Okay, I just got a notification on my phone, one second. Oh, right. Uh, notification. Thanks, God, for <laughs> cell phones. Apparently it is uh, me and my wife's anniversary tomorrow. Oh, boy. Yeah, thank God for phones. I need, I need to do something about that. But yes. Oh, buy this game. Yes, buy it. Buy it. And buy multiple copies and play it all the time, every time. Now, I know it kind of sounds weird to make a video like this, even though I'm not sponsored. But yeah, I do want... What was that? More stuff? 
And more notifications. Yeah, I know it's my anniversary. I, I'm gonna hopefully remember. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by Keen Games. Hopefully in the future. But again, I'm just a small little YouTuber and perhaps a streamer someday. But yes, I do want this game to succeed. Now, they have updated this game very frequently. Like, it's almost scary how often they update the game. Oh, balls! I mean, it's not that long ago since we got the Hollow Halls update. Like, like I feel like that was almost yesterday, even though we have played quite a bit of uh, Valheim lately. But yeah, there's so much to do. So much fun, so much to explore. So the fighting system is fantastic, and it's only going to get better. Like, there's... Hang on, where's the boss? Big bosses? Ow! Okay, hang on, don't die. That would be bad. Yeah, big bosses, fights, and... I mean, this is a early game boss. So that one was fairly easy. But it does get more difficult uh, further along. Now, I wouldn't compare it to Valheim. Valheim is a lot harder than this game. But it's, it's still fun. Very fun. And it's not like you're not gonna have difficulties. And again, if you are having difficulties, you can just watch my speedrun. I mean, you can finish this game, and I say finish in quotes in like maybe two hours, something like that. Get the best armor, get the best weapons, defeat every boss. Now, by the time that I made the speedrun, the Hollow Holes update was not implemented yet, so yeah. I mean, I did also, yeah, probably just an hour, but, 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 but still, if you take it slow and you don't look stuff up and you just enjoy the game, you're gonna have many an hours. I think that I was done with the game after like 40, and that was without any building. I mean, the building is awesome, the combat is awesome, uh, the world is amazing. Here's a little cave, All right? Treasure. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, I missed Enshrouded. And again, I will play it with my wife. Soon enough. We just need to finish up Valheim. I'm probably gonna make a video once the Enshrouded update comes along. It's supposedly a big update, so we will see what they add. Gonna be new weapons, as we presume with daggers, maybe more. And a big tree that is most likely in Revelwood. Ah, oh boy. It's going to be really fun to play this game with my wife. Now, I'm not gonna hold her hand too much. We are gonna watch her together. Maybe she will struggle. I mean, the game becomes more difficult once you are more people. So, yeah, I will obviously make a new character. I made quite a few already, made the speedruns. And I will just teach her how to play. Could be good for new people too. But that is probably going to be, uh, like, in the middle of... June. I'm, I'm not sure how long we're going to play Valheim since we've just reached Mistlands and we have that whole Ashlands going on as well. Now we we are kind of going fast when it comes to Valheim, but yes, we, we will see. Oh, I miss being able to travel this fast. I mean, just by the time of this video, I mean, I traveled all the way from up here, around, around over there, to down there. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this game is huge. Okay, more stuff. Yeah, I, I remembered it's my anniversary. Okay, I, I think I've put on, like, remind me ten times just, just to make sure. Also, I know that my camera is a little bit weird. That is because of power out outage and all the settings just got removed. I'm a little bit lighter, uh, but I, I guess it works. Right, and just as a final thought, if you're interested, uh, my cat is doing a lot better. He can now fully use his one leg, and he has started to use his other leg a tiny bit. But uh, his pelvis was totally destroyed, so he's got a plate in there, so it's going to take time. Time and time again. Right, but it's going better. A lot better. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. My cat is sleeping, and my daughter is sleeping as well. My daughter is... My daughter? Wow. My wife is out and about doing uh, grown-up stuff. So, yeah, that is uh, that is why I have time to make a quick little video that is not Valheim. Just giving you a little bit of an uh, update. I'm going to continue to play in Shrouded because I do enjoy this game. Oh, look how pretty. And I can't believe that I played way over 200 hours without ever noticing birds in this game. Alright, uh, okay, let's teleport back home. Oh yeah, that's another thing, you can just teleport everywhere. I mean, I don't want to diss Valheim. I have played Valheim way more than I played in Shrouded. And my wife do love Valheim. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, but in Shrouded is a game of its own. It really is. Not really comparable. I enjoy both games. Ah, and then a little bit of sleep. Right. Now, both games could learn from each other. They could. 
especially the inventory system. Oh, look at all this bag space and no weight limit. Ah, fantastic. No, hang on. I still need to sleep. Uh, still used to, <laughs> still used to Valheim. Uh, floating screens. Yes. Ah, oh yeah, and all the building. Like, look at my troll. Just, just, just something that I put together in a very short time, but yeah, like 3D modeling. Oh, 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 my tiny little mountain village that I'm not sure I want to do that much about since, well, one thing about the upcoming update is that I feel bad for anyone who's built an awesome base in Revelwood. Probably. Maybe it's a sub-biome, maybe it's an entirely different area, maybe further down there, but it's just, you know, presumptions. I presume it's going to be around here because maybe there's a gate that leads to the mountain area, even though there's no mountains behind there and it's just a flat area. I mean, the mountain is here, but we'll see. Oh yeah, as soon as I saw those uh, teasers, I wanted to play instantly again. But yeah, my uh, my wife wants to finish up Valheim, so that is what we're gonna do. And then it's back to Enshrouded. Hopefully she likes the game. She doesn't have to like it as, as much as I do, but we will see. Now she does not like spiders. That might be an issue. I mean, she doesn't like bugs in general, and there's quite a bit of bugs in the Mistland, so we will see. Still have not experienced Ashlands at all yet. Not looked anything up either. Okay, but yeah, that uh, that should be enough. A shorter video, just letting you know. Enshrouded is still on my mind, and it will probably always be. Ooh boy, yeah, they're opting, updating this game fast. Oh, I I surely hope that <laughs> they're not. Uh, I mean, the last update. Oh, hang on, mushroom, I'm getting distracted again. The last update with the hollow halls. I mean, that was an amazing update. So much content. Oh, hang on, out of stamina. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what I could expect, but I ooh, I am excited, very excited for the update. And to play this game with my wife. Yes, yeah, that'd be interesting. Right, okay, so I've been trying to end this video now for probably a couple of minutes, so I'm just gonna land over here, do a little bit like a so, get some good scenery behind me, and I'm gonna say thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time.